friends welcome to my workplace at Ranakhat, West Bengal India in this video I am sharing how I prepare a patient for topical FACO the plastic drape is cut from one end to the other end at the middle and now I open the plastic drape and my assistant puts three drops of proparacaine and now I cut the other end of the plastic drip and then uh, where speculum is taken and it is applied to keep the eye open. It is applied in such a way that the lead margins are nicely covered at this time three more drops are put after application of the speculum and then some amount of povidone iodine is applied over the ocular surface ocular surface is thoroughly irrigated and then the ocular surface is nicely wiped out and again three more drops of proparacaine is applied so three times three drops nine drops of proparacaine is enough for topical phaco in between surgery I don't apply any more proparacaine I don't use any intracameral lignocaine and let us see with this anesthesia if we can do this surgery or not the main incision has been made this is a side port on the left side of the main incision and now a uterita forceps is taken and capsulorexis is done. A capsular tag is raised. This capsular tag is guided anticlockwise all around and a round rexis is achieved. And now hydro dissection. BSS is passed just under the anterior capsular rim after expressing out some amount of visco from the anterior chamber. The nucleus is depressed and the nucleus is rotated. And now some more visco is applied in the anterior chamber and then the tip of the phaco needle is introduced into the anterior chamber. The phaco needle goes inside with its bevel down. Some superficial cortical lens matter is removed. And now the handpiece is turned to make the bevel up. And now the nucleus is divided into pieces by direct horizontal chop. and it is done. One more chop and this free nuclear fragment is emulsified. This is the second fragment. It is emulsified with ultrasonic energy of about 60 percent. Fluorate being used is 45 and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. This is the last nuclear piece. It is emulsified and this is the epinucleus. So nucleus and epinucleus has come out and now the scortex is to be removed. Some visco is again applied. In this case I have made only one side port so I am going to use a 23G Simco cannula for cortical aspiration. So here it is. The cortex from all around is being removed.
Now this is the cortex from 2 o'clock. This is cortex from 10 o'clock. Now the subincisional cortex can be removed easily going through the side port. And now hydro implantation of a single piece monofocal intraocular lens is done. So just by few drops of proparacaine, you can do topical FACO. Though all the patients are not same, some patients may require additional anesthetic which can be applied in the subtenon space. Subtenon infiltration of lignocaine can be done on the table. So I use this proparacaine eye drops and if necessary in some cases I use subtenone infiltration of lignocaine. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this helps.